Hi, Sequoia. My name's Ian. I spent the first five years of my career as an actuary, and I didn't really enjoy it. So I left that job to go work for a startup CEO. I learned a lot from him, and his advice to me was to go learn how to sell, how to sell to customers, investors, and employees if I ever wanted to become a founder, which I did. So I joined MongoDB Sales, and I spent every evening and weekend being the best at every sales function, whether that was prospecting and lead gen, or customer discovery, and just becoming a student of sales. In the five years that I was there, I got promoted four times. In this process, I started understanding all the places sellers were wasting time and things they were doing that was going to be gone in the next few years, but also things that they need to be doubling down on if they wanted to stay relevant and be 10x. I also saw how buyer behavior was changing because of things like self-serve and product-led growth. So yeah, I have deep empathy for the seller and I've faced a lot of the problems they face today. I want to have an outsized impact on the profession. And the bet that we're making is that conversational data is going to help us. Hi, I'm Andrew. I was the owner of Keystone, Netflix's real-time data analytics pipeline. I'm also one of the original developers of Data Mesh, which is Netflix's second generation data pipeline product. I was a first data engineer hire at Carta X and Honey, and I know firsthand the power of first party data in the context of AI and machine learning. There's two things happening with conversational data now. One, it's becoming much more widely available via Zoom, Slack, and emails. And two, machine learning technology has matured to a point where language models can now reliably understand context. Because of these two things, we can unlock improvements in the things that Ian mentioned previously, prospecting and lead generation, sales enablement, and real-time data entry into CRMs. Thank you.